Taking a live look now at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. DraftKings is hosting a launch party in honor of sports betting kicking off today, and this is a live look at that ceremony right now. Panthers legend Greg Olson will be on hand to place the first ceremonial bet. Both FanDuel and Fanatic Sportsbooks will be holding launch parties in Raleigh. And since the clock has officially struck noon, that means that people in North Carolina are now able to place bets on approved mobile sports betting platforms. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger is at Bank of America Stadium to explain what this means for the average North Carolinian. If you haven't already, you're about to start seeing a lot more advertisements for mobile sports betting platforms like FanDuel and DraftKings. FanDuel in particular is partnered with the Carolina Panthers. The launch comes just in time for gamblers to place bets for college basketball tournaments, but you do have to be 21 years old and physically in North Carolina to place those bets. For now, you can gamble on professional, college, and Olympic sports, and the commission is still creating guidelines for horse racing. Each betting operator is required to partner with professional teams or venues in the state. Those companies believe legalizing this type of gambling regulates something that many people already did. I think, you know, it's just going to provide better, safer access than probably other mechanisms that people have today, whether it's offshore books where there's uncertainty about your money. It's a highly regulated um, industry as it should be. Eight operators have received licenses from the North Carolina Lottery Commission. We have a list of those on our website, QCNews.com. And researchers predict that the taxes generated from mobile sports betting could bring the state more than $100 million a year. Reporting at Bank of America Stadium, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.